Welcome back, YouTube. This is Asterus, and welcome to part 24 of Let's Play Donkey Kong Country 3. So this is the episode I was talking about before, where I'm going to have this last attempt with normal game parameters to defeat this stage. And so basically, to go ahead and spoil it, it doesn't happen, so you're just basically getting an extra episode of, like, the attempts. But yeah, this is a pretty maniacal stage, I just would have to say. Didn't really enjoy it that much, but I look after it. I did get pretty close. I got to basically like the last stone or two left to uh, get to to complete this stage. And it's just kind of the concept that they just had a, just a hair or two more maniacal than I would have wanted it to be. It's a pretty diabolical stage. I just definitely would have to say if I'm making it look easy, it's just the fact that, yeah, this, I mean, I managed to. I managed to breeze past a lot of this, but it gets pretty tough for later. And this is a pretty lengthy stage. It's not one that you just can kind of hop and bop right through. So I feel like, yeah, yeah, there are YouTubers out there that can actually beat this. But I feel like it's kind of, I look after it, it's kind of more about like the compatibility of just like the content that's being talked about. You know, having the pizza, that touch stuff, having some KFC, some of those type moments or hell, even... If you bought a 30 pack of beer or something like that, if you got like some Keystone or Budweiser or something like that, you've had, like by this point, by part 24, if you open that beer like in part one, you should probably, I mean, within responsible drinking, I'd probably say you could be at like six, seven, something like that and just have a real good time. If you couple that in with like some good um, snacks or something like that, Chex Mix, plenty of those things, Cheez-Its donuts you know there's plenty of good moments just to have for this sort of concept but yeah this is just a real like this debilitating kind of stage i just would have to say I just really didn't enjoy it and um i look after i look after like my cat's kind of bothering me right now so i have to deal with that too but um i did manage to breeze through quite a bit of this but um, I just kind of look after it, just being able to, honestly, it's just that last bit, I just kind of like, screw it, you know, this was not something that was working with me. I think the real concept about it is, you know, they, they try some real dastardly stuff here, and I think that's just like the essence, I mean, having to do it, I know if you have, I know if you have, like, emulation, you can fuck around and, like just reverse the controls back and then it's really not that tough of a, st of a stage in that aspect but you know this is pretty clever this was unheard of back in video games in the 90s there just were not many like donkey kong country 2 briefly did this with the final boss fight if those dust clouds hit you they'll reverse your controls but this actually expects you to be able to beat a stage while doing it and i just kind of look after it just of course um trying to say and stuff that that's so it's kind of a difficult concept in a video game to kind of have, but yeah, I was dealing with my cat for a moment there. She wanted some attention, so I had to take care of that real quick. But uh, yeah, basically, uh, this stage is just a royal pain. As this long story short, this stage is just really not worth it. Now, obviously, you would think, well, if you can't beat the stage normally, then how are you going to do it? For folks that are just jumping in right in this episode, the concept about it kind of is and stuff is that I do. I'm not playing this on emulation, but I do have, like, a Game Genie, and the thing about it is, is, well, the Game Genie didn't work, so I had to get an action replay, which I also have, so that's kind of the concept, so the Game Genie, for some reason, like, it thinks, Nintendo thinks that you're doing malware with it, so I'd be careful when using a Game Genie for Donkey Kong Country 3, because it says that it just doesn't really like to recognize the software, but the action replay does and luckily there were some cheats that were actually developed for that game so i was able to beat the game that's kind of the concept you're going to be seeing that next time i've got another 22 minutes worth of content that's going to be divvied up into three more episodes so these might be short but there's not, it's not really going to be I, I might just make the credits like a separate episode i'll figure out what's going to happen but more than likely there's just going to be like uh, three more episodes of varying length i just would have to say that'll kind of be the thing but uh um, so I mean, and really, just in the normal adventure, this is the end of it. I mean, I managed to get through like 95% of this game without using cheats and stuff. And you could say, well, did you fight the final boss without uh, cheats? And the answer is no. For one thing, I didn't want. I saved on three files just to make sure 
that in case the game genie tried some or the action replay tried something sneaky or sleazy that I didn't lose my save file because that would have resulted in a canceled LP as if I would have gotten all this far and then the save file would have been deleted but I copied the save file I'm losing track of what I was saying here but I just decided to uh, keep like uh, the, the cheats on to fight the final boss and as I realized as I went through it I may have been able to do it like 25 years ago but no I, I feel like I just was not in the fitness to be able to handle that boss and I admit it that's fine it's a tough boss it's probably the toughest of the three Donkey Kong Country games I'm just gonna go ahead and say that it is I mean that boss it was just showing because there's like three segments to it you have to fight the, the mechanical robot one for a couple of times and then you have to fight the the K rule boss that kind of goes along with it and I just have to kind of say he's a pretty lengthy fight and it's just kind of I mean they don't really like at least in Donkey Kong Country 2 they'll give you the Kong barrels after every now and then I mean they might have done that but I don't really recall as to whether or not they did my likelihood says they pretty much didn't so you have to basically wing it just through the whole fucking thing as far as trying to get through that but that's kind of the thing so this is about the end of the stage. This is about as far as I got, as far as just being able to talk about like the concept of the stage. But there, this is basically like the home stretch here. But I just wasn't able to do it. So, but yeah, this the boss was a the, the boss was a worse pain in the ass than this actual stage was. And I just kind of felt like this the concept of what kind of effectively kind of happened. So this is it. This is if you can get past this segment right here. If I would have been able to do that, I would have beaten the stage. That was the last bit of the game. You just have to get in between those two fish, and then weave low, and then go up, and then right above the those two red fish up there with the end of the stage. So I just said, fuck it. That just really happened to be a thing. But um, I think they did that on purpose, just to really see the true skill set. They realized. I mean, for me to have basically got, and I would say just getting to that last final bit, I... I mean, if I would have had emulation, I could have kept doing it, and, you know, that would have been a more uh, presentable type tone. I would have definitely kept trying until I could have done it, but even supposing I could beat this stage, I really feel like beating the final boss was just another stretch that probably just was not likely. So I just, either way, it was just a lame kind of scenario, so. This relatively happens to be the remark, so this is kind of the thing. So we've only got, like, another minute here, so you will see the last handful of episodes and it's going to be either 20 well it's going to be at least 26 episodes but there's probably going to be 27 i just would have to say that's like the main roundabout so i just would stir up some of that pasta you know heat up some of that kfc in the fridge something like that you know have a good time with some of those beers and just realize i mean this is definitely a good playthrough for that sort of thing just like the street fighter 2 playthrough i did last year that is good for like a drinking contest I mean within responsible doing so but this is the concept there's just some good stuff to kind of add with it I very much have recreation in mind I think we need to bring that back to like classic let's plays and stuff like obviously let's plays were huge back in 2008 and 2012 and stuff but just being able to say we need some vintage ones with like a, 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 a peppering of like 2023 thrown in there this would have to say so this is good to have those but all right, folks, that's basically the thing. So, yeah, I just would have to say, got a game over and such. Subscribe for more fun. Thanks for watching, and have a wonderful night. And you will see the finale to this game with cheats on in the following few episodes here.